Hello, ladies and new graduates. Welcome to a special edition of Finding Your Fashion Voice, September 23rd, 2019, Make It Happen Monday. I know Mondays can be a little rough, <laughs> a little difficult, and a little challenging, but I just wanted to do a little special episode. We've done one before, but this is just our cute little purple, I mean, our uh, black pencil skirt, which we love, and a purple shirt. Now, you can put a sweater over the jacket. You can do whatever, especially the temperature in your office. I put it up with purple, of course, because purple is my favorite color. You can do boots, wedges, whatever you want to do, depending on what part of the country you live in and whatever the heck the weather's doing. But always remember, you might start your day at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. It might not be over till 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So always let your outfits be a help and not a hindrance. Always be able to add to or take away from an outfit, okay? Now, for you grade four grade, I love pineapple and walking on lunch. You know, you don't want to do it to work with a sweater or anything. You just want to get the blood going. Do whatever works for you within the time constraints that you have to eat your lunch so that you're always utilizing your time to the best of your abilities. Because you can make more money, but you can't make more time. All right. Now. To the new graduates, I just want, and to, not just the new graduates, but anybody looking for a job, anybody trying to get in your career, anybody trying to make a change. There's certain things that when you enter the workforce and the real world that they just don't tell you. Monster, LinkedIn, Career Builder, all those platforms, they're okay, but there may be that one job on all those platforms. The jobs may, there may be 10 jobs that may be being on all those individual platforms. They may be, have already uh, promised it to an internal candidate. So you can't just sit behind the computer. You have to go out and you have to meet people and you have to network. You can begin on the internet and networking in that fashion, but at some point there's going to have to be some face-to-face -face interaction. Okay. It's not to get you discouraged. It's to be truthful. Because the worst thing you can do is give someone false hope. I'm reading a book and he said, you know, hard work doesn't guarantee success and hope is not a strategy. OK, so you just have to remember that. I read that in the book. John, I believe John Maxwell said that. OK, so again, you just have to be strategic. And a wise person once told me, don't apply for everything. Apply for what it is that you really want to do. Believe you me, I know the difference between needing to eat and having a passion. Okay? I know what that's like. Okay? But at the end of the day, if you've got something and you're eating, don't apply for eating jobs. Okay? Apply for why you went to school. Apply for your passion. T.D. Jakes once said, there's a difference between survival and success. It's time to stop surviving and it's time to succeed. If you don't know how, reach out, get a coach, get a mentor, get with people who are where you're trying to get to. It's not easy, but in the end, and I mean in the end, <laughs> it'll be worth it, okay? So I'm not telling you anything I'm not having to tell myself. And anybody and everybody that's successful had to have someone believe in them and plant a seed in them, okay? So I want to thank you for all your support, for all your shares, for all your likes. I will see you back here this Saturday for the regular episodes of Finding Your Fashion Voice. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.